I sh of course the game's not gonna pick the ones we need. Oh, they nerfed it into the ground with the latest update if you wanna grab that. I did check it out, but it uh, like really lowered the amount of uh, skills they get. Or points into skills they get. Now I, I might need to wait. Or actually, let me check what we need to actually create the katanas. <coughs> Okay, so no, not orders, free blid. Blid. Wanna go for the great sword. Uh fine steel katana blade. What was, was it Lord? Wing damage ninety-three. Wing damage ninety-seven. Maybe. Wait a minute. We didn't go for this. We went for the katana. Let's see. The guard that gives us plus 50. Let's see here. Hundred and eleven swing damage. And hundred thirteen here, so we do need three fine steel. Let's see how much for the advanced pole arm. Which is still a katana blade, funnily enough. I think. There was it. Maybe not. Let's. Can't remember actually at this point. What are you? Advanced pole arm. I wish I could uh, really expect weapons again. Yeah, that's gonna help. Uh, it doesn't matter. We don't have the materials anyway. Oh, it's uh, the empires, by the way. Like, um, I mean, they do bring a lot of armies at us once they attack, but they're mostly like really low tier recruits or like second to third tier. What's up, Master? Uh, fine, always can be better, right? Always can be better. I think the only thing actually saving the Empire's ass at this point is the Diplomacy Mods uh, non-aggression fact feature. Otherwise, they would be constantly at war with everyone. Wanna declare war on the Ezrai, man? Come on, can we do it? Right, they do have a faction. I didn't check that in a while. Okay, support War 19. Well, the Empire is 100. Western... Right, Western Southern Empire don't exist. I want to get to war with the Kuzais, to be honest. I don't want any of their territory for myself. And that's gonna put us into contact with Sturgeons. Which is just gonna mean uh, another war we have to deal with. But let's go recruit a couple of troops.
<laughs> We're gonna gain so much influence. Right now, the problem is gonna be like uh, getting recruits because my garrison recruiters are just picking them all up. I need to go, bo go back to the home territory. Okay, want the archers out of them and infantry. Start a war, a war by raiding the village, but that's un, un uh, that's not honorable, man. We're supposed to be honorable in this one. <laughs> oh my god, can I find fucking any recruits here? Apparently not. Let's let the get the Umbar Raiders. We're gaining food. I still can't get over that. That's so fucking stupid. Right, one of these villages has some elites in it. I think this one. Now, funnily enough, uh, the DVD 8 in Para playthrough is going fine. The AI is doing some stupid shit. I mean, the, uh, the campaign on the campaign map, or the game on the campaign map, is actually pretty hard. Otherwise, uh, I'd say it's actually a bit easier in fights. Because they go on for longer and you need to spend morale, not to, you don't see that many units actually die off. I get wrecked because, you know, replenishment takes a whole lot of uh, effort. So you don't want to like, lose a bunch of troops when taking over a new province. Otherwise, you're going to be... You're going to have to like move them back to a home province. The fact that we can cross this as well is bit odd to me. All right, I did add a couple mods into the into this playthrough. I added the where is it uh, settlement culture changer mod, which works a little bit better than the other one I think, because it just automatically switches. The culture of a settlement to, to the owner's clan or the owner's culture. I guess that might be a problem if you have like a bunch of different cultural cultural lords in your faction. That might be an issue. Otherwise, it's fine. And surrender tweaks, which is the kind of decent. So we don't like have to fight the you know battles versus like. A, Shitty 50 man parties and all that. Uh, the replays are coming up uh, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. And I think Sunday, I think I scheduled them. And basically, that, those are the days I'm going to be playing it as well. I'm going to leave Sunday off. Unless I go to like um, get drunk on. Saturday or something. I might change the schedule a little, or on Friday that may sh change the schedule a little bit. Yeah, was... Hannibal attacks one of the cities in the, the Italian peninsula. What does he do? Charges head first into spearmen. What a brave man. Got impaled on a fucking spear. It would be actually pretty good if uh, Total War or Creative Assembly actually like, uh, you know, when you run into like a famous general, or, like Lord, like the, uh, that the AI kind of behaves a little bit different. So ha like uh, implements a little bit like different tactics like reflect how they were in real life a little bit a little bit 
If we have a herd. We don't we can pick up a couple more mules. Or a bunch more mules, actually. Well, that, that would be interesting. Like, you run into Hannibal on Rome 2, or let's say Rome 3, if they ever make it. And he has, like, a different AI behavior to the other lords you face. So you get, like, a caught off guard a little bit. Like, he splits up his units to try and get the pincer attack on you or something like that. Not just the same basic charge your lines and uh, get enveloped by it. Which the AI does. Okay, let's see. Declare war on... I kind of want to declare war on the Northern Empire again. Let's see. They're only at war with the land. Look at that. Their strength is really, really... Well, our strength is really, really high now. Oh, we can declare war on the Azerite. That's what we're going to do. I want to take some of their shit for myself. Sammy, how are the gas prices over there? That's, that's, the, that's the main talking point these days. Let's grab a couple more here. Okay, that's... Ah, uh, we got the influence. I mean, we're gonna have infinite influence at this point. Let's grab a few of them. Yeah, it's the same for like most games. But I'm um, actually, if you if you play a prophecy of Pandora, if you turn on the like enhanced AI, or uh, I don't actually remember what the option is called. But the actual the AI actually does sm do something smart. They actually try and get uh, get their cat to charge your archers, and all that, which is you know a lot better than just. Um, charging straight at you and if you like turn on the horse skirmisher ai oh my god it's a pain in the ass hunting down the jatu and all that shit and a mod made that surely a development team can uh, fix some stuff up who the fuck are you why aren't you not here Or in another army, never mind. Right, I do want to take the castle myself so I can actually grab it for myself. And I was actually surprised bitched in the last stream a little bit. I attacked a Carthaginian army in a fort. And I like spread out my troops to attack the fort from each side. And uh, they decided to come out. And I, I think I could have... Maybe... I mean, the battle was winnable, but at the end I just quit out and reloaded. I just set up a defensive line, because they're gonna come out and attack me. I think that's mainly because they had elephants, so... You know. Elephants. I still can't tell which ones of these are better. I mean, the Naginata uh, or the Nagamaki. But the Nagamaki is just a big fuck off katana, I guess, so it's better. <laughs> Driving the company car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. 
Uh, Jesus. Uh, that works, I guess. I <laughs> uh, don't care about gas prices as long as I don't pay for them. It's funny to me, as also here, I'm, I don't drive, I don't have all the driver's license because I live in the center of the city and I like never needed one. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> now you're fucked, guys. When the gas price goes up, like, what is it now? It's, uh, I think close to two euros. Well, before it was like a, a euro 60. Something like that. Still not like really high, but high for our prices and wages. Maybe I should have built the catapults first. And this is with the increased damage as well. I bet everyone wishes they had a company car now, right? Craft the katana. I still can't get over the fact that the Yari had like 540 reach. And I am gonna need to like sit in a settlement somewhere so our guys actually replenish their uh, stamina for c construction. Not construction. Um, the word. What's the word? The blacksmithing. Can you stay down there and don't do f anything right now? Let the archers skirmish a little bit. Let me skirmish a bit, I guess that that's gonna work out. Ooh, look at him. Look at them. Let's get off the horse. What you looking at? Okay, cool. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't bash me with a hammer. I guess this is gonna work out. I lure them. I lure them out so, so they get shot at. Or yeah, I don't have a shield. I did see a bunch of Jackie Fish's videos of that one guy who like m made it, made Viking, you know, sailing ships actually, you know, workable. You can actually like raid a village. It would be nice if one of the Vikingish mods actually adds it in, so you can actually like go from the you know Sturgeon territory down to Valandia and raid them. That would be freaking awesome. Then we got the one the, with the Star Wars fighter, X-Wings fighters and all that. That just looks fucking odd to me. I mean, uh, at that point, why not just play uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2? Or the standalone uh, Star Wars X-Fighter game, what uh, I think, is, is there a standalone one? 
Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I can't remember. It. I can't remember at this point. He's had zero losses there. Okay, we're gonna show mercy because I'm gonna take it for myself. steal all these mm, I will believe though recruits right Yeah, I think uh, the every song soundtrack song I don't grab this has like an outro bit. That's either from Spec Ops or Lone Survivor. I can't tell now. Hmm, are we gonna help our friend over there? Yeah, why not? Right, right, right. Uh, we need the governor here. Okay, these are the two we last picked up, so not them. I think this guy. And we need a bunch more. Uh, well, not a bunch. Uh, I think two more uh, governors, and that's going to be it. God, this says fuck all. Uh, I think let's go with that first. Gardens, granary, siege workshop, militia, barracks. It's gonna take a while till we build this up. I do love it when I click and nothing happens. Let's see. Cannibal warriors. Yeah, we want those ones. Archers. So basically the left of the troop tree you want to stick with. Unless you want to grab the archers at the first one. Let me just tag these. Yeah, I want to take uh, Lavania Castle, and that's going to be it for my territory. Hmm. Is, is Razia going to be better to take? Or Vo Vostrum? I think Razi actually is going to be better to take or easier to hold. Yes, yeah, yes, Sammy. Bon appetit. Right, let me switch weapons for this. This is gonna be Skirmisher Archer versus Skirmisher Archer. But I love these fights. Okay, they actually don't have that many of them. 
Only 63. What's that? That's nothing. No oh, right. I turned up the difficulty. <laughs> Didn't I? All uh, right, uh, skirmish. Now to be a little bit ca careful. We can't really charge at them. The skirmishers, at least. Shooting at my infantry. What did I? What did I? What did my infantry ever do to you? Oh god, they got even more skirmishers. Right, I forgot. Would be nice if you actually targeted those guys while they're bunched up like that, man. Actually, you know what? Forward! 10 seconds? I think less. <laughs> or they call me the arrow dodger. Wanna... Look at that, look at them, look at them. They're actually like... Uh, moving around. I wanna like set up my archers to actually just kill them off. Jeez, I'm not that bad, right? Hey man, I'm supposed to be good at this game, right? Oh my god, I see traitors in their midst. it for their skirmisher archers and we actually eh, we almost lost as many as them or more we actually lost more than them the, my, oh, those skirm skirmishers of mine aren't faring uh, all that well either I'm dead yep Actually, since I'm like, eh, let's see what they do. They're not out of, out of formation or anything at this point. Uh, yeah, auto resolve might fare better. They actually managed to pull him in, which is interesting.
Yeah, they're Cav and... Uh... I wish my archers like stood still for a second so they can sh actually shoot at the enemy. No, 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 don't turn your backs on. Oh, God, I'm not going to watch this. Fucking stupid AI. Right, I'm... No, right, never mind, those are not the, the troops I thought of. I think there are some troops that I actually didn't recruit so far. Experience, yes. Le 13 lane Ezrai horses, lame. Right, we don't need to grab food. Eh, let's do it anyway. Jesus Christ. We do not have a wife yet, do we? Uh, we have a lot of enemies. Does he have a... And he's really, like, buffed up. Does he have a... Uh, son? He has a daughter. I think she's married off. Mm, and, or not. Let's send this guy a message. Get a weave while we can. Right, that's why I went down that easily, uh, that easily on the minus 108 on that uh, when those uh, peasants attacked me. I put up the difficulty and I wasn't used to it. Cannibal warriors, archers. Hmm. Maybe it won't be bad to grab a couple of horsemen, actually. We might have a battle here. Yep, as soon as like uh, 200 more of them show up or something like that. Or as soon as we're finished with the siege, actually. The okay, walls are down. Face down as well. <clears throat> okay, this is gonna be pretty good for our archers. Oh, and for our infantry since we can ha hide them down here. Archers! Move! Soldier! Archers! 
archers. Be like, stay up here. Fire arrows, really? Yep. Archer arrows! I should turn that the mod off. It's just, uh, I mean, it's nice to look at it. Nice battle at night battles, but like, did you see that? That's why they call me the arrow dodger. Forward, archers! Move! What the fuck's blocking the way this time? Easiest headshot I ever made. Oh, that's a s solid sack of dudes to shoot at. Hopefully I'm not going to get the rock dropped on my head. Expect everything to die in one hit. This is not warband. Like when you get like high, uh, really high up on the perks and skills, everything just dies in one hit. Sit, there, sit here until we run out of ammunition actually at this point oh no 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 run 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 that could be a tactic <laughs> so they start chasing you then just uh Run back out like a chicken. Let's do that again, actually. If we can, here. Yeah. Yeah, there's so fuck many fucking arrows, it's actually... It's like censoring the wall over there. Come on, come on, you know you want me. Motherfucker. Run, 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 run. The maces, man. No wonder I die from blunt and piercing weapons in one hit. Yeah, we wrecked everyone here, so that's... Mm, looks like that's all of them. Yep.
Uh, yeah, I might need to turn off. Um, I didn't need to turn off the fire arrows. I mean, the FPS is still at 60. So it's not that bad. What a shot. Or a lob, actually. And this way, we need, like, uh, it would be better if the, like, elite units had katanas instead of the. Mm, Naginata. Nak whatever the other one is called. They can't actually swing it in the battles. Is that guy fisting enemies? Would you look at that beast? literally fisting enemies wait a minute is there more of them fist oh my god there is more of them fisting enemies all uh, right we're gonna need uh let's grab two more engineering stewardship and trade what do recruits not get weapons here what Apparently, some of them just like to fist. They remind me of Dridlicious. show mercy because I'm gonna take it for myself sadly there's nothing to recruit here mm. guess let's imprison these two and sell the rest of them Right, we need to finish down. Oh, you told me the Mary. The names, man. The names. Drop a bunch of cash in here as well. See, let's go with the granary first. I can't tell if this is like finished constructing or what. Actually, let's do that first. Let's see what I think it's like almost finished or something like that. Okay, now let's try and catch or, or catch any catch some of these. Let's see. Yeah, you told me the Mary and the the Ichi the Hunter. Okay, the Ichi the Hunter is, isn't that bad. Let's get a couple of cab units.
You go catch him. He said catch him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, uh, can we? Can we not? We're actually gonna get okay. That we're like one point slower, zero point one points, uh, zero point one uh, point slower than them. All right, um, the fucking odds aren't all that good here. And I want to wait till I can jump into the battle. That's a fucking beast. Like four guys on him and he's still chasing them down. Okay, this... Uh, let's see. I mean, these are gonna just do their own thing. Well, when we start the battle, they're not gonna stay in formation. So there's not much much point in this, in setting it up, actually. 103 archers, skirmish archers on their side. I have to be a little bit careful here. I can skirmish too, you know. It looks like their infantry is coming towards us. I want to, want to get my uh, shit. Or they're just gonna charge right through us. Yeah, look at it. Look at them kills on them. Yeah, I guess that's what we get for having no shields. What's up, Miron? How are you doing? Well, this ain't gonna go too well for us. If you stay here like this. I think that's the Mamluk cow that's destroying us. I'm not quite sure. No, I might be dead here. No, 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 no slaps for you. Okay, yeah, some of these guys are actually bracing their uh, spears. Take out the cab as they come in. That's what we need. Nobunaga's riding at 250. Nice.
I think I want to stay like uh, let them, you know, keep them spread out for the melee battles. Actually, no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, anything with throwing weapons is gonna wreck us. Look at that, there's deaths, man. We really, really do need to hide the infantry like behind the hill or something. Otherwise, they're gonna lose in melee. Look at that. Then again, our archers are actually infantry as well because most of them are the like uh, fancy katana warriors as well. Or samurais. They're gonna s move over there. Do something like this. I so we should have the RTS camera at this point. Definitely need to be a little bit more careful with the battles, that's for sure. No, 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 no. Shit, I saw it and I did it again. Fucking dumbass I am. So heavily armored, you think like the bowmen with the piercing arrows are gonna kill off a lot of them, but nope. Yeah, look at that. The AI actually spread out the infantry as well. Mm, well, not really. Kind of. Now my, my guys are going to retreat in front of them. Oh, that's going to be bad. Come on, you only have the archers to mop up. Yeah, shit.
Jesus Christ. Oh, one of my companions actually died. Oh, and it's... Oh, oh, that's bad. And he's the party leader as well. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen at this point. Like, is his party just gonna disband? Probably. Okay, maybe not. He's just being led by some other guy. Now nah, join me then, I guess. Uh... I mean, I took what they wanted over here. Let's just go back and uh, place them in the garrison. Now I need another guy to become a party leader. Sell those off. Oh, shit. I'll be a little bit more careful here. Train the militia, leave them in there as well. Ezra, Ezra, Ezra Empire, Ezra, Tessujin Cannibal Master. Okay, that actually the hunter is gonna be a uh, governor, if I remember. We need uh, another party leader. Would be good if you get one with like 10 kills. Somewhere around there. Alright, I did want to do some... Right, we need, need to... Get this is all set up here. So, copy to all castles, copy to all towns. Our shit is getting raided. Increase your mouth's armor by 20%. Oh, that's gonna be amazing, actually. So, 70 plus 75 plus 20%, right? I'm actually sure if it's gonna like show up or tell you that that's happening. Okay, let's let them deal with that. 